Now this 1.6 HDI engine from Peugeot Citroen is a little bit short-legged in first gear. And the reason being is that it only has eight valves to breathe through. Now I've got a 1.5 diesel Kia Rio at home and that will easily outdo this from 0 to 60. And the reason for that is because the Kia has another eight valves at 16. So this Mazda 2 isn't worthy of the Sport badge on the back in my opinion. The ride quality is generally very good and I know Mazda have done a lot of work on the rear suspension keeping it very firm and very planted despite this car having alloy wheels it is quite composed. Certain surfaces can catch it out with road noise if it's quite a, a rough surface for example, a rough tarmac surface but uh, I'm surprised by it and how good it is. The Mazda 2 has a fuel tank of 43 litres I'm achieving just under 50 miles per gallon as you can see on the dial there and it's given me a range of another 393 miles so. So Do you like the car Ceteris? I'm not that keen on the engine, I just find it a little bit of a boring drive because there's no surprise, you know, first, second, third, okay, the, the torque on the car, the pulling power, um, is spread over quite a wide range. And like other cars, you tend to get it you know, between the second and third gear, but um, it is quite measured. And I think that comes down to the fact that um, Mazda having a great range of diesel engines, having to borrow this one off Peugeot. It's not worthy of the sports badge on the back. And in a competitive car market, where, in the UK at least, around 40% of new cars sold are diesel, you must have a good range.